What is going on everybody? Another X3 video. Some of you guys love these, some of you guys hate them, some of you guys are maybe indifferent to them. If you are in one of those latter two camps, then I think you're gonna appreciate this video because I'm gonna try and answer the question that I get asked very often whenever I'm talking about these things, especially even among like families and friends, and of course you guys in the channel, is what is it exactly that I like about the X3 specifically? and these type of setups. Because at first glance, when you just look at them, that was the same way when I first saw these things, especially with their high price tag, I was like, I don't really get it. It's a barbell, it's some resistance bands, it's a foot plate. I'm not really sure what's so special about it. So that's what I'm gonna try and convey here of how I became somewhat of a skeptic and then became a huge proponent and lover of these types of setups, specifically X3. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some of the major areas or general things that I think make this product stand out. And as always, these are just my own personal opinions. So you guys are welcome to share yours down below in the comment section. Now, if you do wanna check one of these things out and pick one up, also help support me in the channel. I do have promo codes for X3 down below. And these are kind of the ideal situation when I'm talking about promoting something that I personally use, literally almost every single workout, uh, saves you guys some money also with a promo code. That's basically a win-win for everybody. But I also totally understand these things are pretty pricey, especially it might be a gamble if you don't like it or not. So I give you guys some uh, alternate cheaper options. I have a whole video I talked about that as well. I have an X3 playlist if you guys are curious and new to the channel. So I'll link that stuff, any other alternative types of setups down below as well. There are of course things I don't like about X3 and I mentioned that kind of briefly in past videos, but maybe in another separate installment, I'll kind of get into all the things I dislike about it. I'm also gonna try and keep this fairly brief because each of these major bullet points I'm getting into honestly could have a whole video dedicated to it. First thing I do like about X3 is actually the company in itself. And I understand for some people, this might rub you guys the wrong way. I know not everybody agrees with the training methodologies or even just some of the claims that X3 or Dr. Jaquay uh, puts out there. His name's like a French name, so I'm pretty sure you don't pronounce it Jaquish. I was butchering it before. Uh, but Dr. J will just say, uh, I'm not gonna get into all that so much, but I do wanna say is like you have to kind of give credit where credit's due. And I could be wrong on this. Definitely correct me down below in the description box but they are really the originators of a type of method of training that really I don't think anyone else was really doing prior to that. And that's using a foot plate, a barbell, and then some resistance bands in a solid setup. Uh, after which time, once they did make that, you saw a lot of kind of copycats come along. I'm not saying there's anything really wrong with that. Uh, I know people have said in the past, well, like they didn't originate that. There was this guy, Dick Hartzell, who had resistance bands and a foot plate, but that was, in my opinion, totally different. But as far as I know, Dr. J was the one who kind of created this whole little system that again, you see a bunch of other sub variations and things that are out there on the market currently. I also really appreciate the fact that most of their products are made in the USA, including their bar, their foot plate, uh, even their paraforce or performance bands. Granted, those are kind of an add on. They're sitting right behind me. Uh, those things are USA made bands, the only USA made bands. And like I said before, they are actually my favorite loop style bands just based on the quality and kind of how they feel. They have a kind of like a unique tension to them. The next thing I just really like in general is just their anchorless way of using resistance bands. One of the problems I had as far as really falling in love with resistance bands is that I always felt like it was kind of fighting against some tension. I didn't like using anchors. It was cumbersome switching up different points on the uh, bands, whether using tube style or loop style bands. There's of course the risk that this stuff's gonna fly and hit you in the back. At least that's what I, Dr. J is, one of his selling points on the system is that uh, you're not using anything with bands that's a risk of injury of stuff kind of flying and snapping behind you. But that might sound like lip service, but for me personally, just as a practical use of resistance bands, that's one of the reasons I just didn't use them. They weren't very easy to use. I found is as far as like mixing up and supersetting between exercises versus with this type of setup, what's anchorless, I can go anywhere inside, outside, I can travel and I can still work my whole body on some really effective, efficient exercises which of course I'll address here in a second. Of course, I have to talk about the actual X3 bar itself. I think this is a gigantic selling point which actually makes people jump into the system uh, and the fact that this is actually a patented product, you can't get it anywhere else. And what is patented is, from what I heard, is just the actual hook system. Before I even got X3, I was actually looking for something like this, really similar in these dimensions, to actually use on my total gym. And I found some stuff overseas that were literally just X3 copycats. I didn't know what they were. Um, come to find out later that yeah, X3 was the one, or Dr. J was the one who actually patented this type of hook system, which is ideal in a number of ways. Most notably the fact that obviously now I can just slip a band in and out, uh, which makes using resistance bands all the more easy, all the more less cumbersome, instead of using carabiner clips, switching on some other type of resistance band bar, you don't have to do that. Much faster way of transitioning exercises. The other good thing about the hook system is that the band sits closer to the bar. And I really like that because you, you keep a lot of that tension and slack. So if you're doing something like a chest press, you, you're not losing any of that excess you know, slack if the, say the hook or whatever kind of apparatus is hooked a little bit further down below. 
Of course, you can buy shorter like length bands. These things are to stock bands are 41 inches, but you can buy like serious still 37 inch bands, which I've actually reviewed and do work out really well on this thing as well. Knurling and just grip is excellent, which is very important, especially when you're talking about a bar like this. And just another feature about the bar that's great is that it can handle heavy, heavy loads. I've covered cheap bar alternatives. I would not trust a cheap bar with the heavy resistance. So this thing can definitely heavy handle the weight, but also really importantly is that the knurling is really good. I've heard of people that had risk of like the things slipping out of their hands through like deadlifts. I've never ever had that risk whatsoever. I would say maybe make sure you have a closed grip. If you can't hold the grip long, hard, hard enough, uh, definitely go with an alternated grip. But uh, it's very important, of course, if you're using like heavy deadlifts with heavy resistance bands to make sure you got a solid bar, but also bar has got a very solid grip. Again, it's USA made, so that's also a cool thing. I personally love these dimensions. I said that before. It sounds like I'm just saying lip service again, but even when I went to the gym, I like a bar that was kind of close and compact like this. Uh, I know they make the longer bar, and this should say something about the credibility of their company because if they just wanted to sell and push bars, they would do so a little more easily. They've actually told people not to even purchase their long bar, but they made a long bar because people complained enough about it. I do like the long bar. I had a whole different separate review on this so I can mention, but the point is, you got a long bar if you guys want it, but by default, generally 99% of the time, I'm going with the short bar. And this leads into something else that again, would be personal preference, but I just like these straight dimensions. I honestly don't know. I did ask them when they said this was true. They made the dimensions for a particular reason, but I don't know if they really made these dimensions because just for costs and shipping and just for portability purposes, but I actually personally like these dimensions of the short bar with the shorter platform. And the reason for that, and you guys can just try it out yourself, but you can try to start with free weights, whatever in the gym. If you got a really long bar, resistance training bar, and let's say the platform is short, the way the tension kind of gives off, whereas like the resistance bands are kind of pulling, you'll feel that, not only that, but also if it's a longer bar, it already is kind of pre-stretching the bands, like a standard 41 inch bands. And if it's stacked just like this, I just feel like in general, if I'm doing things like bicep curls, overhead presses, even deadlifts, squats, I love how that tension is just so compact and close to that point of rotation, like my elbows, that when I'm doing things like bicep curls, it just feels all the more centralized and kind of locked in versus I've used my cheap Instar bar. Even their long bar in relation to like a shorter platform, I don't think feels good. I think if you are someone who prefers like a longer bar, then I think it makes sense to get a longer board. Shameless plug, I do sell these Mac boards, like I can link down below, but if you're using something like Harambi, or like the Clench Fitness board, also great, also have promo codes for those, then yeah, I think a longer board makes sense with a longer platform, just for the direction of forces and kind of how that feels in your hand with various exercises. You know, X3 has their stock exercises, which pretty much makes sense with a setup like this, with what you basically can do with this type of equipment. Uh, but I will say, just the way stuff feels, all things considered, what I just said about the dimensions, when I'm doing exercises like bicep curls and doing them correctly, and really the method, and kind of this goes back to one of the pros that, they do, that they've kind of, uh, essentially pioneered, just their kind of getting their to failure, forced repetitions type of style that you guys can look into if you guys want. Granted, I break it a little bit, I do some extra sets. I got a whole program, again, shameless plug, if you wanna check out how I kind of deviate from this system a little bit. But the exercises all just feel great. There's not one exercise that's one of their standard exercises that I don't like. I know this isn't gonna fit everybody. I've said before that if you have a bad back, um, maybe hips or something like that, or it's not as, not as flexible to get in those lower positions, like with front squat, even doing deadlifts, then some of these exercises might not be for you. I'd say of all of them, the one thing I just don't like would maybe be, I don't say I don't like, but like shrugs, I just don't really, I just kind of leave out. Uh, they feel great, but I feel like the more I do it, my neck starts to get kind of tight, like a day after, so I just kind of leave it out, plus, I just don't feel like I really need to work my traps that much. But all these exercises feel good. That leads me into kind of the next point and what I like about the whole system is just so efficient and effective. So I've gone certainly days, but definitely even weeks just using this setup. It's just so easy, it's so inviting because the exercises all feel good. I can chain things together very quickly. I can switch bands on the fly. Of course, if you're doing their like one set, you know, 10 minute-ish workout philosophy, which I definitely deviate from that, uh, you, your workout will be even more efficient and you might like it even more. But that kind of leads me to like the final point is that this whole system, the exercises feel good. I think the apparatus itself feels solid. It works really good. All this stuff leads to more exercise adherence that you're actually gonna be using this product and actually seeing some results. I just had a whole video where I broke down kind of the pros and cons of various equipment that I have. And I think one of the biggest things you can say about a quick piece of equipment that you're actually gonna be, that's gonna be effective is really gonna be one that you're gonna be utilizing most often. 
And that's what I kind of hear from you guys is that even some of you guys who actually had a total gym or something like this, then you sold it or even left the gym is that what the X3 does for you is that it makes your workouts so much more simplistic and you can grant it to say like, you know, how many more sets or how effective is their traditional program design? I don't know. But many of you guys have written down just saying like, I love that I can just do some core really hard exercises to failure. I can get my workouts in. It's better than not doing them at all. And the fact that I can travel with this thing, I can do it in the office, whatever. Uh, that's one of the best points, parts of this system. So even when I have all this equipment at my disposal, there really isn't a workout that goes by that I'm not doing some sort of X3 exercise. So hopefully that kind of answers some questions for you guys. I can go in a lot more detail about each one of those things, but those are all the major reasons why I like the X3 specifically as a system, why I kind of gravitate towards it and why I tend to recommend it so often. So hopefully that's helpful. If I didn't answer something, let me know, but I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.